Hello guys, um, in this tutorial I wanted to go over some of the more useful stuff that we can use on the calculator. So let's get started. So, um, okay, here I brought up my calculator and um, as you can see there's a lot of stuff on the screen, right? And some people, and me, I really don't like when there's like all the stuff written up there and then it's it kind of like distract you from doing more stuff so how to delete all these screen so you get a blank one so it's pretty easy actually so first you have to turn on your calculator of course by pressing that on button right and mine is on here already but once you get to the screen and if you have a lot of stuff up there just hit clear clear button is right under the arrow key and if you click this you'll notice nothing's on the screen right so you can start work on it uh, work on your math assignment 8 minus 6 and yep those stuff okay so that's how you cl uh, clear the screen by pressing this clear button but how about if you wanna uh, clear out whatever you typed for example let's say I was I were to do 8 plus 3 okay that's 11 but let's say I wanted to do like 8 minus 6 or something like that but accidentally I type 8 I mean 9 minus 5 right and I didn't want 5 I wanted 6 so what what you can there's like three ways you can um, deal with this problem here so first will be it just just type it and then redo it 9 minus 6 right that's pretty simple another way will be uh, when you get to 9 minus 5 right here just hit clear when you hit clear in this screen it's not gonna clear all the screen it will actually clear this one line here yep so if I hit clear and notice it only clears that one line the reason is because I didn't hit enter okay but when I hit enter it's gonna hit it's gonna clear all the screens so I hit clear now all the screen is gone right but I didn't want to do that either what I wanted to do was to erase this 5 and then change that into 6 so what I can actually do is this notice this black square box right there right that's called a cursor or I usually call it cursor but some people call it differently but Yes, so the cursor is pretty much where the calculator is pointing at. So if I want to change that 5, I got to move that cursor back to 5. What I can, How can I do that? I can use these buttons here and then move my cursor. So for example, my cursor is right after the 5. So if I hit left, it's going to go to that 5, right? and then what I can do here is that I can hit delete notice there's a delete key right next to the left arrow key right there's a delete key so if you hit that now the 5 is gone so since the 5 is gone you can just type 6 right and then hit enter and there's my answer so there's a several different ways you can uh, delete stuff so uh, let's do another example here so like 13 times 8 and then plus 4 but okay and then okay let's do more stuff minus 9 divided by 2 plus 8 minus 6 and so on okay so let's say I had like really long equation like this do you want to clear that out and then retype it uh, you might but I don't so what I can do is 
and I can move the cursor back to where I want to change. So for example, in this case, I want to change that division sign to plus sign. And I just go to that division sign right there, and then hit plus. Then notice it's going to replace that division with the plus sign. So it, it comes very handy once you know it. So please keep in mind that it's very useful. So one thing was that clearing the screen by pressing this clear button, but let's let's press enter. Okay, so 107. So clear by pressing this clear button, you can clear all the screens and then start off with the blank page. Also, there's a delete button. It's not going to clear your whole screen, but it will clear one character. So, um, one character at a time. So it just move your cursor with the arrow and then hit delete. And um, in last tutorial I was talking about the blue letters and blue letters because of the off button, right? And I wanted to show you guys what that really means. So uh, this blue button here is to go into that blue categories. So above each button there's a blue words on top of it, right? For example, on top of mode there's a quit in blue. So if you want to quit something, you have to press second and then mode. Because once you press second, you're saying that I want to press that blue button, not the not the white one, okay? So that's how you access the blue buttons. But what about these green ones? Notice there's a green ones next to um, like a test or on top of the numbers there's like O, P, Q, T and so on, right? And those are letters. How do I access those? You remember how I accessed the blue ones? I pressed a second and then did it and then pressed the button, right? But in this case, you can press alpha. Alpha is right under the second key, and it's, it's it should be a green color on your calculator. And if you press that, look at on the screen. There's a cursor with what? A inside, right? It's just saying that you're using alpha. I think it's short term for the alphabet, pretty sure. So if you press that and then press uh, whatever that has alphabet on it, you can print alphabet on the screen. So for example, A here by pressing this math. And again, alpha apps, that's B, and then alpha program C, and so on. So you can actually write um, like a message on a calculator. <laughs> so the best way to practice this will be by trying so I recommend you guys to take out your calculator and then kind of try these things out and get used to it, okay? And thanks for watching and then if you have any questions please leave a comment below and if you want more videos please subscribe. Thank you.